Hey everybody, what's up? You might recognize this game screen from some earlier gameplays I've done. You may recognize it from some streams I've done. But if you don't recognize it, this is the main menu of Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball is my favorite game. It is the game I am best at. And you're about to see why. This is for my 1500 subscriber special. And also, it's supposed to be for 1k, but I didn't do it. So anyway, we're gonna do Expert. 50 stages of pure awesome. Well, it, it's like it's like 35 or so. No, it, it's like like 40 of pure awesome. The first 10 are no, not even that. It's I don't know. The first five are meh because I can skip them. But anyway, I'll be giving strategies out to those who need help. So anyway, to get the red goal here, you basically want to balance yourself before you go up the hill, and that way you're all lined up and ready to go, and then you just push forward. It's really it's a game where yes it's like it's kind of difficult to master but you know once you get it you really get it i know a lot of people have said that they can't beat expert levels for some reason and yeah i was supposed to get all the bananas that's the point of the bonus stages but anyway no so i'm gonna be talking about some youtube stuff because it is a subscriber special and i will be thanking you guys so i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart if you're one of you know if you're like one of my very first subscribers or if you're one of my brand new subscribers today and you're just watching this and you're like <gasps> Anyway, yeah, I just want to thank you. You guys are awesome. Without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. I've gotten, for all the bad messages I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of good ones, too. A lot of positive messages, people, you know, it just, it really means the world to me when I get those really nice messages. Um, I know a lot of people think that I'm stuck up, I guess? I don't know. I've, I've heard that. I've, I've heard many things about me. But one of them is heard, I've heard is that I'm stuck up or I don't like talking to people. Now that's just not true. I love getting PMs. Like as long as they're like, you know, where I actually have a chance to reply, then I love them. But, uh, as you can see if you fall off the edge. Oh boy. Uh, this actually, this is, this is the level, like off on a tangent here, this is the level that gives a lot of people the most trouble in Expert. Uh, you can kind of see why from that end portion. Um, it's kind of difficult. It doesn't give me too many problems, like, anymore. It used to. Wow. That was not the right way. That's not how you're supposed to handle that. But, anyway. Um, yeah, you know, I've heard a lot of things about me, but people saying I'm, you know, stuck up or I don't like to talk, that's just not true. Like, I love to talk to people. It's just, like, half the time I really don't have, like, all the time in the world because I'm a... You know, it's why I was on hi hiatus, like, for so long. It's because, you know, I really don't even have time to record videos sometimes. I'm lucky that I got a Saturday night to where I could record um, a bunch of Galaxy, a bunch of Hit and Run, this, some Minecraft. You know, I, I got lucky with tonight. But during the week, I just don't have time. That's how you beat 7, by the way. It's, it's kind of difficult, but, you know, if you're patient you can get it you just have to be really patient and try a lot until you just kind of figure out how to do it but yeah you know I'm, i just don't have a lot of time time is something that with school with a job with well i you know like just with the stuff i have to deal with during my days you know it's really sometimes uh, see now when you have more fallout than chernobyl here, uh, you get a continue. Now you notice I have unlimited continues because I play this game like every single day. So I obviously don't have to worry about getting a game over, but for those of you who do, to earn more continues and get unlimited, what you first have to do is play a bunch, get enough play points to unlock all the mini games, and once you have unlocked all the mini games, every 2,500 play points you get, you unlock and you can like a, an extra continue. And once you get, I believe it's eight of them or nine of them, the next one is unlimited, and from then on, it just records your play points. It's kind of like, oh, well, I'm just recording this to see how well you've done or whatever. Um, you know, but. It's a really cool game, I really like it. And as you can see, it's really, like, the graphics are just amazing. It's made in 2001, and I say this every time I do, like, a walkthrough of it for people, because it's just so true. Second Amusement Vision did an amazing job on this game. Honestly, as far as, like, soundtracks go, and as far as, like, everything goes, this game is wonderful. Graphically, soundtrack, replayability, it's just... It's the entire package, really, and it's why it's my favorite game. 
when people ask me, this is what I say. Um, and just because, like, no matter, you know what's coming up, you know, like, once you play it as much as I do, you know what's happening, you know what levels are next, and yet you still have trouble beating them sometimes, you know, even though you've played it every day, you play it twice a day, you still have a chance to where you're just gonna be like, damn, I just can't beat this level today. And it's good. That's a good thing. You want a game to be like that. You don't want a game to be so repetitive that you can beat it, and then every, once you beat it once, you can beat it again and again and again. And you just that that kind of game makes you not want to play it. But this game, it's always difficult, and it's different. Like you know, depending on your mood. If you're really tired, you might suck. But if you're really wide awake, you're good. So it's just really fun. Uh, as you noticed on that second level, also I took a warp goal. Um, if you're new to this game. Colored goals besides the blue goal. Blue goal is one, and then the green goals, I believe they skip three. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's two or three. Uh, no, I think it's two. But the red goals really vary. Like the first one, it skips from level two to level three, but there's one in advance that skips from level, I believe it's like 19 to 27 or something like that. Something ridiculous like that. It skips like a bunch of levels. Oh, bumpers. Talk about my worst enemy. These things are a pain in my butt. Luckily, I beat it. But I remember when I was like younger playing that, and it was just like, I hate you, bumpers. I hate you so much. Ugh, bumpers were the bane of my existence, and I know a lot of players, for a lot of monkey ball players, don't like bumpers. But I honestly like, as much as I don't like them, I really enjoy them. Now this is a stage a lot of people ask me how to beat, stage 16. Well you, it's really quite easy. You just like, it's a slant, but you can go laterally across it. So when you get to the bottom there, you just kind of go and go into it. This stage is pretty cool. It's, you know, it's like a, oh geez, that was almost bad. But basically you just kind of weave your way in and out up. And of course I would, really, really, really. That just made me look so bad. Cause I'm just like sitting here like doing really well, haven't died, and then all of a sudden, just boom, like out of nowhere and just drop dead. Cause I hadn't died in like, <laughs> like 10 levels or something like that. Oh jeez, oh, get back on, no! Shit, that was close. Fuck! This level just gets annoying sometimes. It's not too much, like, what the hell? No! Stop! I don't even know how that happens. This game is really, it is rage inducing, especially if you're like me and get annoyed by things really easily. And, uh, I'm sitting in this really crappy, like, computer chair and I really need another chair. And I'm just gonna make a reference. Some people might get, like, someone should buy me a chair. I don't know if people might get that reference. But, anyway, I really wish I had a new chair because the new chair is, oh my god, amazing. There we go, we beat it. Uh, it's really not too difficult once you actually do it right. No, anyway, I'm saying I don't like this chair because it's like making a bunch of noise as I'm sitting on it, and I figured out there's like a problem with my microphone, kind of. Like, because it's a USB uh, desktop microphone, it requires like a certain power level or wattage, voltage, from the source, and because like the computer doesn't supply enough uh, voltage to the USB ports, it has this like electro staticky hum to it and it's just like oh it annoys me and gets oh excuse me it gets on my nerves like every time I record and I'm going to test the audio levels to make sure there's no noise I always hear it and I'm just like god damn it now on this bonus floor right here last night my freaking and that was wow that's a lot quicker than I've leveled myself out but the, the freaking noise, the, no, the noise, the soundtrack, like, stopped playing on that level. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, really? So, anyway, we moved into the sand or the desert. I forget the exact name of this. I think it's, like, like Hot Desert or something on the official soundtrack. By the way, I might post a link for the soundtrack if you guys want to listen to this music, because it's really some amazing VGM. It's some of my favorite video game music, besides, like, obviously Zelda music and the Gusty Gardens theme, because oh my gosh, I freaking love the Gusty Gardens theme. It's the best. 
best like world theme in my opinion or one of the best but anyway this level there's a lot of product placement in this game you'll see at the credit sequence and if you see on the bananas you notice it says dole like they paid for their freaking company to be in this game they're like her 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 we're gonna put our bananas in a game based on monkeys because you know it really does make sense and like props to the marketing people because they're like they're like freaking geniuses um Another thing I like about this game, though, is just how easy it is to jump in and play. Like, you don't have to be friggin', like, the best gamer ever, or, like, really good, like you do with, like, I don't know, certain games, I don't know, like, Gears of War, Call of Duty, all the FPSs you have to be really good at to play. Well, or you can noob tube. <laughs> oh, noob tubes. But anyway, no, this game, like, you can just jump in, play beginner, get your feet wet, you know, play advanced. Advanced is easy, really. You know, just start playing. It's really simple. All you have to do is know how to move a control stick. Uh, and I'm pretty sure most of us, if not all of us, know how to do that. <sighs> stage 25 is probably the easiest stage in all of Expert. I really don't get why this is an Expert. I've seen some speedrunning tactics, of the, like legit speedrunning tactics, not just like, oh, you're playing the game fast, but like where they like jump like three or four things at once. I, I don't know. Don't ask me. But it's pretty cool. And just to look some of that up. Alright, so this level, there's all kinds of shortcuts in these levels to beat them quicker. Here, you can just fall off the back, and it just takes some experimenting to figure these things out. But basically, you fall off the back of that one, and fall off the back, and then pull... No, I didn't do it right, obviously. But if you pull back enough, like, towards your... Or towards where the arrow's facing, or towards the goal, you can actually... That time I just flat out missed. That's not even funny. It's just like, just like bad, it's bad. There we go, I think we got it this time. There we go, okay. So basically, you know, you just jump and uh, jump over. The I jumped over the goal, which was kind of cool. Uh, you can go to the right though, I don't really suggest it. There are a lot of, well, hello hole in the freaking floor. I love you too. There are a num, not a number, but a few were there would be like a lot of bananas like four or five bushels of bananas but um it's like a harder path versus this where it's kind of still difficult obviously because it's expert but it's not as hard because well yeah i just had to open my mouth there yeah so oh and if i had fallen right there i would have cried myself sleep right um it's, it's a lot more prevalent in Super Monkey, fuck you! Super Monkey Ball 2. Uh, that game has a lot more, like, the choices, but I also, I don't know, I don't like the level design in Super Monkey Ball 2. Like, even though, yeah, I LP'd it, fuck! Are you kidding me? I got two game overs on this level? Or two continues? What is up? What is up with this nonsense? Alright, let's try this again. But yeah, I just, like, I really prefer... The game design in Monkey Ball 1 to Monkey Ball 2, just everything is better in this game. But I can't LP this because it doesn't have a story mode. It doesn't have any linear progression. Um, and I know I already did Animal Crossing, which obviously didn't have any linear progression. But this is just like, there's th it's like a party game, really. It's not even like a game game. It's a game to have fun with friends, usually. Although I don't have any friends to play it with. Well, I have like two friends, but they both suck at it, so... Hello, failed speedrunning tactic. I love you, too. Yeah, my friends, they're not very good at it. No offense to them. Love them, but... Are you kidding me? I got stuck under the ball. It's like, not even cool. I got stuck under the party ball. It's not very fun with that happening. Oh, man. So I guess I'll take some time to talk about the future of my channel, where it's going, what's happening, some future LP ideas. If you guys are still watching this 14 minutes in, kudos to you. But, um, some future ideas I've been thinking about are the 2D Zelda games. Uh, and when I say 2D Zelda games, I don't mean every 2D Zelda game. I mean the Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages series as a... Are you fucking... Are you fu are, are you fucking... Are you having... Are you engaging in sexual intercourse, me? There we go, finally. Looks like I just dropped right in. Um, yeah, so future of my channel, I guess we'll start there. Things are looking really bright, um, 
you know, Hit and Run's gonna finish up within a month or two, hopefully, if I can post it enough. Galaxy will be finished shortly. I'm thinking of doing Oracle of Ages or Oracle of Seasons, but I'm not sure. There's also a few other games I'm thinking about. Um, I'll have to get the list, like, later, and I'll post the list up. But there's Golden Sun The Lost Age, Golden Sun 1, even though I, I, Golden Sun 1 would be a blind RPG LP because I've never beat the first one. I got started with that series in the second one. Don't kill me! Or starting in the sequel. But yeah, I started in the sequel. So, you all have to deal with it. Um, so that, that's another, that's a game choice. And then there's obviously Animal Crossing City Folk, which I'm definitely going to do like a 30 day thing of where I probably post it every day for 30 days or something like that and I like allow you guys to visit my town hang out uh, if you have city pole stuff like that just really entertaining now this level a lot of people tell me this is like the second hardest level in the game not to mention the graphics are fucking beautiful in the ice level like Jesus man it is beautiful you could say they really I don't know that poem was really not well thought out um Anyway, it's like, what you basically have to do is like, you have to snow what you're doing. <laughs> anyway, um, basically the only hard part's right here, getting this turn right, and if you do it quickly enough, you'll get it, and the banana noise definitely did not play. I definitely didn't hear the banana noise play when I got that bushel, I don't know why. Uh, this is actually a throwback to an advanced level called Antlion, which is the name in Monkey Ball Deluxe, but it's like something else because it has the thing um in monkey ball deluxe and here's another form of product placement by the way you see the amusement vision logos on the little barrels <laughs> do a barrel roll i did uh back in monkey in monkey ball deluxe it's a combination of i believe it's 43 stages from monkey ball 1 115 from monkey ball 2 and like 45 or 46 original stages which is why i like it so much because there's some new oc there's a new original content in it it's a really great game but it's only for the ps2 and the xbox original so tough cookies now if i had a 360 i could actually get it for the xbox original because it was that's why i don't like bumpers they push you off of the stage they make you mad they make you laugh like this but anyway no uh monkey ball deluxe Really great game. Uh, I really liked it. Actually, it was a lot more fun. It was almost because it combined Monkey Ball 1, Monkey Ball 2, and some new original levels. I almost like it more than Monkey Ball 1, but I can't really make that decision because it took away a lot of the music, and I really love the music in this game. That's one of the main reasons I love this game. I just... Freaking, the soundtrack is amazing, and if you guys want the soundtrack, yeah, I will put, like, some links in the description for you guys. Because it's just a soundtrack that you can just chill to. It's really... Okay. Can I do it? No, I can't. Of course not. That wouldn't be fun if I couldn't do it. Come on. Bounce up here and break the confetti, because everything's better with confetti. It, 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 except a funeral. You, you don't want to bring confetti to a funeral. Trust me on that. That's a bad decision! Talk about bad decisions. Jeez. <laughs> uh, what the hell? I was just like, oh, I'm gonna drunk walk off the edge. Be right back. Sad, sad, sad state of affairs. <laughs> I just rolled off the edge for no reason. I am doing a lot worse than I normally do. But then again, I am commentating this, so cut me some slack. Alright, so that, this part right there, I was gonna say it's really confusing, but then I died, so it doesn't matter. So obviously you can tell it's confusing. Um, I just don't like that part, because it is confusing. It's hard to uh, get an accurate representation of where you are. Now, another reason I like the Arctic levels the most, look at, like, they put these things in the background of the level, and uh, you can't hit them, they're actually not programmed to have density or any value, because you can go through them if you fall out into them. But, like, they just put awesome things. This level's like the Mario Galaxy bonus level, but we're just gonna drive off the edge. <laughs> like that one, Louise, we just drove off the edge. That's an old movie reference. I don't know if you get it. So, the final level, this one's called Storm, or the theme is called Storm. As you can tell why, it's kind of... Well, that's just a gaping hole I went into, and I don't normally go into gaping holes because your mother's a whole... I don't know where that came from. 
But, um, a lot of these, like, you'll see this level. Look how, like, you think this is, oh my god, this is fucking hard, right? Oh, this is difficult. I can't do this, Jeff. I can't do, yeah, you can. Look at that. You just have to know where kind of to hit. And, you know, it, it's all kind of straightforward from there. I don't know. Huh. Anyway, this level involves a lot of waiting. And I hate waiting. One time, I was, like, like rolling around like this, and I just, whoop, jumped off the level. I think I got sidetracked from talking about what I was going to do with my channel. But anyway, some more future LP ideas, like I said, Animal Crossing, 2D, Zelda games. Ocarina of Time, obviously, is one. Majora's Mask, maybe, I'm not too sure. While I love, 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 love Majora's Mask, uh, I'm not sure if I'd ever LP it purely because I just don't really think I'd do that game justice, to be quite honest. Like, I don't think I'd be able to give it the accurate representation it deserves. Um, another game I like to do, I wouldn't do Twilight Princess. I'm probably gonna end up doing, um, Skyward Sword at some point. Not definitely, probably like a year or two after it releases, because I really don't want to be one of, I, I don't know. I, I don't like the whole, like, I'm doing this on release day kind of thing, because first of all, you don't get a great representation in the game. All you're doing is playing through it and, you know, recording it on the day it comes out. You don't actually get to enjoy it. And I'm the kind of person that believes games are first to be enjoyed and then to be recorded. So if you don't enjoy a game, don't record it. And how are you going to know if you enjoy a game if you record it, like, the very first time? Like, I know, yes, it's a Zelda game, so it's a given that it's going to be pretty good. But, you know, still, Sonic Generations also looks really good. I don't have a 360, obviously, so can't do that. I'm hopefully going to be getting a 360, and then I might, you know, do some, like, 360 games and stuff. But honestly, there aren't a lot of 360 games that really catch my interest. Um, basically, this level is all about timing, and that's why I hate it so, so much. Uh, you basically have to time when you go like this, like, I think, yeah, that, see, that was perfect. You just have to bounce off one of the sides and then center in, and then as it opens up, oh, yeah, you barely get it. So, uh, this level, it's circles, basically, you have to use centrifugal force in order to force yourself higher and higher, or to keep yourself, keep your momentum up, basically. So, the first few are kind of low, like this, then it gets really deep. And then it gets, oh jeez, I think I fucked it up too, actually. I honestly did. I think I did. Can I get it? Ah, come on. No, time limit. Curse you. If I can get it. No, bastards. I'm going to get it. No, well, no, I'm not. Let's just die. I, I will not time out. I refuse to time out on these levels. As you're going to see, the last two levels are ridiculously simple. Um... You'll see it after I beat this level with the green goal. You'll see just how, like, ridiculously simple. There we go. How, God, just easy this is. And, oh my goodness, I'm going to beat this in, like, 20-something minutes. With all the deaths, it's still 20 minutes. That was better than my practice run last night. Uh, or whenever I practiced. When it, like, it was a Friday. Friday night. Whatever. When I recorded this. I practiced. Or, I practiced. This is a Saturday. I practiced it on a... Fuck you, Jeff, for fucking up your words. Almost made you fuck up the level. Yeah, so I did like 24 minutes in my practice run. And this list starting on the home screen and syncing everything up is only at 24 minutes right now. Now look how ridiculously simple this is. Look at that. What the fuck, game designers. That's my only objection. The last levels were not difficult. There was no degree of difficulty to this at all. If anything, like the final floor should have been freaking level 7. Because that floor gives people the most trouble. This is easy. You just follow the freaking path and there you go. There's stage 50. Super Monkey Ball 1 Expert Mode is completed. And uh, we'll have a little credit sequence. And then I will end it off with a big old thank you. So we got 846 play points in that continue. My high score is 1152. I forget when I got that. I think it was when I beat advanced and all the extra stages at once. Do your best and try to beat your high score. So now this is the ultimate thing of product placement in any game, pretty much. It's freaking raining gold bananas. And it hits you in the face. And it's on the door of that. And it's on the big bananas. It's like, come on. Could they get any more obvious? Look at this. So anyway, 
These are the other monkeys. That first one is I, I the second one is Mimi, and the third one is Baby. Uh, I don't like playing as either of them. I like playing as Gongon, -Gon, who happens to be the dumb monkey, and oh, now he's mad. You done made him mad. And he pretty much just like freaks out and charges the door like freaking Chunky Kong, and you just look at this. This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. And they're all just like, nosh, 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 nosh. Gong Gun's like, dude, what? I think I hurt myself. Anyway, this is the credits. I'm not gonna do the credit game because it takes way too freaking long. Basically, just roll here, hit the X button to cancel it. Go ahead and cancel it. And um, it looks like I just want to say thank you guys so much for 1500. I want to thank you for staying active, uh, staying supportive of me, even in times that, you know, weren't really well for me. Uh, you guys are the best, and I just look forward to growing with you so much. Um, I want to thank you, you know, for all the funny comments you leave. I'm going to go ahead and enter my initials here. That's what no people normally call me on the internet anyway. They call me Geo, so we'll just enter that. Because my name is Jeff, and it's G-E-O-F-F, -F, Geoff. Uh, that's actually third on my rank. My first one, I got the floor 12, had 170. Without getting to continue. Anyway, that's game over. I want to say thank you one more, one big more time. Hope you all have a great day. This has been Super Monkey Ball Expert, and I'll see you guys next time.